Four professors who lost their jobs as part of Emporia State's recent workforce restructuring were set to be reinstated by the university. Instead, last night, the university put them on administrative leave and told them to vacate their offices. 27 News reporter Caleb Jenneret is live in Emporia with a reaction from both a terminated professor and a nonprofit that's looking into the university's actions. Yeah, Professor Max McCoy, who I spoke with today, is angry, confused, and disappointed as someone who's been told they no longer have a job, but also worried about the future of the university as an alumni. Next week, the American Association of University Professors is expected to decide whether or not Emporia State should be placed on the censured list, which would name them among the 58 worst-run colleges in the country. It means that they will be unable to recruit faculty of quality. Nobody of any quality will want to come to Emporia State and serve as a faculty member. Good uh, faculty members will tend to leave. And then they will have a difficult time attracting um, good students because if you have no good quality faculty, why would students come there? The decision to terminate these tenured professors isn't the only confusing aspect of this. AAUP says it's the way they were terminated that brings up its biggest questions. And being called to, um, to, to dark buildings on, on the corner of campus, um, uh, going through locked doors, set in uh, in in rooms alone, uh, except for a police officer, and then and then dismissed as 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 if they they had committed some sort of crime. Four of the terminated professors won their appeals, and the Office of Administrative Hearings directed ESU to reinstate them. But after reinstatement, ESU filed a petition with the court to review the case. We appealed under the system that the university set up. We followed it to the letter. Uh, in the case of uh, four individuals so far, they've had their uh, appeals confirmed. They have been reinstated and yet now must personally face a suit in district court. Alumni, including Professor McCoy, are worried that this will forever tarnish their degrees from ESU. As an alum, I am concerned about the reputation of Emporia State. If the university is censured by the AAUP, this will be really a black eye for the university. It's heartbreaking, really, because so many of us have given so much of our lives to Emporia State. The AAUP is expected to decide whether to censure Emporia State after they meet next week, but one member of the organization says the move the university made last night will almost certainly put them on the list.